Alrighty guys, so welcome back to my channel today, and we are doing a brand new Sims 4 video today, and so today I am doing a review of my first pet stuff, and I do want to say that I did receive an early access code from EA, so thank you for the early access code, but all opinions are my own, because I have legit seen nothing besides the trailer, and I have a few concerns that I want to express about this pack. But overall, if you guys want to watch the live stream and the trailer, I will leave the link down below in the description for you guys to watch on your own. So it says, welcome to the, to the Sims 4 My First Pet Stuff. Care for a new pet. Add a habitat to your household with all new small pets like a hamster, rat, hedgehog, and a miniature. Babaloose? Babaloose. <laughs> Have your Sims name their new pet and learn how to care for them. Dress your cats and dogs. Show your Sim and their pets are made for each other with matching pet outfits like comfy, robe, or a purr, or purr, what? Roll your arms? Perfect <laughs> pajamas. Put a gl glamorous dress on your feline, on well, your feline friend, or have your dog on on a a hat for the right occasion. Decorate with pet prints. Have Sims decorate the living room with uniquely designed decor and paw possum <laughs> pet inspired furniture for your kids' room. F um, cute cat pillows for for <laughs> for your Sims. For to bright beds for your cats and dogs. There is something for everyone. Well, you know, I'm in it for the build and buy. Hamsters reminds me of, you know, that show, The Wonder Pets. The phone, the phone is ringing. There's an animal in trouble. There's an animal in trouble. There's an animal in trouble somewhere. <laughs> anyone, does any, has anyone seen The Wonder Pets? Because I would love to know how much you love that show because I... I grew up on Wonder Pets. I grew up on, you know, everything about that show. I was like, I'm a superhero. Let me have my own, my hamster and put a cape on him or her because, you know, they deserve to be superheroes, okay? I'm just saying, everyone deserves to be a hero. Alrighty guys, so we here are in Create a Sim. And so I know for a fact that we do have quite a few things for, you know, the hair. And I saw a new, um, there's a new outfit, like a new costume for your Sims. And it's a huge giant hamster onesie and it creeps me out because when I see like a, a human sized hamster I'm thinking what if that will actually like watch me while I sleep like honestly I'm quite concerned <laughs> but anyway so we have one brand new hair for the males and honestly I feel like the hairs get better and better for the males actually because I don't know they just they're more stylish in my opinion because I don't know I kind of like the new hairstyle even though I wish we had like you know had more than one that's just my opinion because I feel like the males are lacking in The Sims 4 and personally having one I would have like you have an equal one like if we get two female hairs I want two male hairs not just one two make it equal please but for the style looks we did get one with the pet and that is pretty nice like I like how it has one with the pet but I feel this shirt kind of reminds me of like a TV show that I used to watch back in the day, like a cartoon on Cartoon Network. And I'm not sure what show it was, but it reminds me of that show. I like the little splattered look on it. Um, we do have other swatches for it as well. And I'm pretty sure that this actually will help you match with your pets, like your dogs and cats. And some other, and you know, some other stuff as well. And so this will reminds me of Cruella de Vil. Just a tad bit, you know, the, you know, the Dalmatians, Cruella de Vil. Makes sense. Perfect. Going with it. So we only got we have that one there, and then that's pretty much one style look for the males. But for the shirts, we actually got quite a few, I believe. So let me go and filter this to my pet stuff. We got one new shirt, which is this one right here, and um, it has five different swatches. Ooh, fun! I like that colorful, childlike shirt. Full body outfits. Oh, watch you guys. Wait a minute. This creeps me out so much. Like this, this giant hamster outfit is horrifying because I don't want this to be like walking in on me while I sleep, like dead in like pitch black dark, like 2 a.m. in the morning, seeing this, watch me while I sleep. I'm mean, like, nope, I'm done. I'm done, I cannot like, can you just like, Look at his eyes. Oh my lord, no, no, 
No. Back it up. Back it up. No, I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I don't like this. I, I like the album because, like, it looks nice, but oh my gosh, no. I can't. I. Oh, oh my gosh, no. Um, but it looks nice. Very, you know, comfortable. <laughs> Ooh, nightmares backing away, but it only has one swatch, which I'm quite concerned about because I thought we would get more swatches for this one, and it just seems like we have one full body outfit. So we're going to go ahead and switch over to the females, see what we got here for them. I'm pretty sure we got quite a few for them as well, like this new hairstyle, which is personally my favorite one for the males and the females now because this is because the style of it looks really nice. That's just my opinion because that the, the male sims hairs and like oh, the hairs in general are getting better in a way because the style of it, the art style is really nice personally. I like that because it improves every time we get a pack. But let's look at this hair right here. This hair reminds me of the 80s. And honestly, I was not born in the 80s or was it the 70s? I think this, I think this hair reminds me of the 70s. Either way, it kind of reminds me of that 70s show of a weird haircut that I saw on that show. And I can't remember who, but honestly, it reminds me of the 80s slash the 70s. So kind of in between there. But you know, it's a, it's a different hairstyle that I have not really thought they would include into a pack. The bangs are interesting, but I know, I don't know. The hair itself is different, something I've never seen before in the game, and it's just a new thing that we got added. So, you know, I mean, I can deal with it. I probably won't use as much, but it has a nicely you no know, style to it, the bangs. But we also do have a gradient with it, which I'm all for. Gradients are everything. Like, when we have ombre, it just makes the game better because, you know, with different hairstyles, different hair colors, it just makes sense, you know? But for the shirts, we have one new one, which is the same one for the males. Five, oh no, six different swatches. But then for the full body outfits, we got the same nice, interesting, horrifying hamster outfit that will probably watch me while I sleep. Okay. But we don't have any new pants or accessories or new, no new shoes for the males or the females. So off to the kiddos, see what we got them, what we got for them. I'm pretty sure we got some new stuff for the kids as well because, you know, my f first pet stuff, Hello. kids are involved, so we must have some new things for them as well. So, no new things for them for the, you know, top hat. Any new clothing for them? It looks like we do. Ooh, we do. So, we have a one. Oh, look at that little hamster eating a, a strawberry. Look at that. Mm, I like that one shirt. I personally will probably use this shirt for everything for my Sims to wear, for like my kids' Sims every now and then on a play date it just makes sense i don't know i i feel like the yellow and the the red and the brown slash light brown tannish color it fits so well and it's my aesthetic because yellow is spring sim so it makes sense and i must love it because the hamster's freaking cute okay but we have one brand new onesie or a pajama outfit for our <gasps> oh my gosh the hamster's everything. It's so adorable, but we do have <gasps> Christmas. Oh, wait, hold up. Why did we not get this for the adults? Then we could have like matching hamster onesies. Oh my, someone better convert that to adults because I'm kid, I kid you not. <gasps> this is life. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, oh. <gasps> I want this in real life. Can I have this? Can I, can I just like reach into my game and just take it? And keep it for myself because I would love that. Because that, that's everything. Like this is like a legit Christmas onesie for the like the, for the family photo. You would just wear that because it makes perfect sense. Like matching outfits for your for your dog and your cat and also your um your parents. You know, one big happy family. Ah, uh, but we do have an alligator one too as well. That's pretty nice. I like that. It's like the same one for the um for the cats that wear this outfit as well like as a. Random, you know, onesie outfit. That's pretty, pretty nice though. But that's pretty much what we got for the kiddos. Let's look for the toddlers, see if we got anything for them. I'm pretty sure we didn't get anything for them. Oh no, I think we did. We did! We got a little. That matches so well. What is your name, my child? Hello, my name is dot, 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 Adele. Um, but we got one brand new shirt for them as well. And it's a hamster outfit with a polka dot and Dalmatian prints as well. And I. Personally, I like hamsters because, you know, they're small, very cute, and sometimes it can be a little bit of a handful. It depends on how you care for them, and personally, it's cute. 
okay i just gotta agree it's cute but we have another onesie the same one as the kiddos we have one for the uh, for the toddlers as well again christmas card photo right here right now just singing um but yeah this is my favorite one i really love i don't know what i don't know why but i like things on toddlers more because they're small toddlers and they're not age stage where they're really really cute and they're just like that door they're just so adorable okay but that's pretty much what we got for the toddlers and um for them i don't think we have any style looks for them either oh we do <gasps> no oh hold up we got one new hat they did not <gasps> they did not oh that's so adorable again can i just like reach my hand and snatch it up and just keep it for myself because this is legit so cute <gasps> stop being cute i might cry because this is like too adorable and i can't handle it right now but we have one new style look called best pet pal and this is literally the most adorable thing in my entire life i've ever seen like a little chunky toddler in this little nice little outfit you know you guys this is really cute stop i'm gonna cry um, but that's pretty much all we have for the toddlers, kiddos, adults, and for the males and females as well. But now it's time to go and showcase what we got for the cats and dogs for them. Because they have, a, you know, a few cute outfits every, you know, got for them today. And, um, as of right now, oh, it's so cute. I really do adore them. But I saw that with the cats and dogs, we do have quite a few cute outfits for them. And I'm just filtering this through the filter system. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. There's no, there's no filter. You can't filter through the stuff. That's weird. Okay, um, again, this is why it should have been parts of cats and dogs, but overall, I'm just going to click through them to see what we actually got for them overall. So, it looks like we have three new outfits for the small dogs, which is kind of cool. Um, it's, you know, a nice little cute shirt dog outfit here. Oh, what? Oh, ooh, flame. Flame him. Flame. So, you have quite a few swatches here for the for the small dogs here. So, we, like, we have, like, small dogs and, and large dogs, and we have the cats, and then that's all we have for them. But I'm not sure we have anything for the puppers or the kittens, but we do have, like, a nice little, um... Day of the Dead type of shirt, which is really, really nice. It kind of goes with the Day of the Dead skirt that we got for the females. <gasps> oh, this looks really nice, really nice, really cute. And um, we have a little dress here for them. And I'm not, I'm not sure if this is um, only for the females, but I'm pretty sure it's like out, for, it's like available for like both male and female dogs. I think so. But it does come with different swatches for sure. Very, very cute and nice, very nice little dress. And then last but not least, we do have a nice little onesie. Again, hold up, let me get the correct swatch. Again, I repeat, Christmas card photo at its finest. Like, honestly, we just need, like, the outfits for the adults, and then everything will be perfectly fine. Because, like, again, Christmas card photo at its finest. But, yeah, a different swatches for, like, the kids and the toddlers, but for the puppers, which is really, really cute, really, really nice. And that's pretty much all we got for the outfits, but we got a brand new hat for them that actually covers their entire ear. Oh, the poor little ears, but it's like a nice little cowboy hat. It's really cute. So, again, you can't filter this through the certain type of pack, which is really, really weird. But we did quite a, get uh, a few things for the large dogs. So, it's the same ones for the small dogs, like this right here. The same different, the same outfits. Oh, no. This one is like, she is Grace. She is Beauty. Her name is Lorelai Gilmore. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> this, is, this is everything. I Oh, my gosh. This outfit's amazing. This is so cute. Wait, why does this not, why does this remind me of Clueless? This like dress right here reminds me of Clueless the movie back in the 90s. Just saying. But oh my gosh, I love this outfit. And we have a banana one. The iconic icon yellow banana. Oh my gosh. Loving it. Oh, a moldy banana. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. A green banana. Hold up. A pink banana? Oh, they did not. Oh my gosh, a purple and white banana. Oh my gosh, you guys. Banana outfit at its fine. I love this. Bananas for life. Um, we have that there, and then we have a brand new astronaut outfit, which is really, really cool because the Not So Berry Challenge Gen 3 astronaut makes sense. Perfect outfit for the puppers or the doggo. And it does come in a variety of different swatches as well. And it's the same ones for the adults, like, you know, the actual sim adults. That's pretty neat. 
So that's all we have for them. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six brand new outfits for the small and large dogs. And I don't think we have anything for the puppers because technically they can't really wear clothing. That is so cute. Your eyes are so pitch black dark. I'm terrified. Um, but I don't see anything else new for the small little puppers, which is okay. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go over to the cats. Let's see what we got for them. Let's see, filter through Cattos. So, um, again, oh, thriving, thriving, thrive. So, again, I don't think we can filter this yet. We can't filter this through, um, my first pet stuff, which is really, really weird. I'm not sure why we can't do that, but, again, I wish it would be included with cats and dogs if we couldn't filter it through. So, we, it looks like we have one, two, three, four, five brand new outfits for the cats. So we have this one, it says the Super Llama Cat outfit does come in a variety of different swatches. Super Llama outfit is always the iconic icon. Oh, pose. Pose, like you don't know. Uh, but yeah, so there are different swatches for these as well. Super Llama, of course. And then we do have a little dress here for little catties. And I just love, I honestly love the swatches for the cats and dogs for, um, oh no, this, no, this is, no, no, this one. Is the iconic icon clueless dress from the movie? Just saying, it's perfect. It's perfect for the cast. That's all I have to say. Bella Goss, is that you? Um, but yeah, I really, really love these dress colors, honestly. And then we do have a new shirt for them as well. More gradient and um, yeah, gradient for this one. Oh, a little, little sweater. See, now I can like you know a perfect Christmas card photo, like oh, my crazy cat lady photo. Ooh, I'm gonna have a fun. I'm gonna have a. I'll have a lot of fun with that. I'm gonna be wearing some matching sweaters. Just saying. So we also have a little Bumblebee outfit as well. Just like the toddlers. The toddlers actually have this outfit, but now your cats have the same outfit, and now they can match every single day, just like you want it. And we do have the same onesie again. Christmas card photo at its finest. Going for it. I'm doing it. I'm gonna make I'm honestly I wanna make this as like a full onesie outfit for my adults and my teenagers just so, so I can make a Christmas card photo. That's all I really want to do. Christmas card photo at its finest. You know, we got the cats, you got the dogs, you got the toddlers, you got the kids, but not the teens or adults. What's wrong? So no new hat accessories or collars, but just new outfits. We have one, two, three, four, five brand new outfits for them, and that's pretty much that we all got for the entire pack for the creative sim slash creative pet so again if you guys want to see more um of like you know gameplay and building by i will definitely have those links down below if you guys want to check it out for yourself and for my own personal opinion i honestly believe that this entire pack could have been included with cats and dogs and i don't know if ea was like or the maxis was like on like a time crunch or whatever but i feel like I don't, I don't know. I just feel like all this, like, cats and dog stuff was could have been included with, you know, cats and dogs originally, with the cat condos and stuff like that. But it was, like, you know, the small rodents and the other, like, build and buy stuff could have been in its own separate pack, like this one right here. I felt like, you know, my first pet stuff could have been more of, like, owning your own, like, pet, sh pet store and having to, you know, adopt and sell or, you know, bring back your pets and buy accessories for your hamsters or whatever. Like, the own, like, the own small little things that I think that would be kind of cute to have in your household for your hamsters or your rodents or your baloos or whatever you have in your household again. But anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me think down in the comments below. As always, what are your opinions about this pack? Will you get it? If you won't, let me know. And why? And yeah, I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye!